And before we get started into today's Iron Man loot video, just a quick update for you all. So here we are at the kingdom collecting our resources. I didn't really wait too long on this one, but uh, I did add an additional two mil to my kingdom. So hopefully in the next loot video, we'll be collecting it again and it'll look much nicer. Something that I never thought would happen, I actually got my favorite skilling pet and that would be Tangle Root. None other than the farming pet while I was in the middle of doing my fossil island tree run. It's pretty amazing. Amazing because I was actually doing my last farm run and then I was going to be staying in Fossil Island for the next few days in order to work on this very video. So this happened right before and I was so happy. We're still 25 mil dry of him on the main account, but this marks uh, only two skilling pets that I need in order to complete the skilling pet log on the Iron Man, which is the Chinchampa and the Rift Guardian. Other than that, I just had that really lucky bottomless bucket drop at 9kc Hispori. So yeah, let's see if we can get any luck with this herbivore i really want to get the pet i think he looks pretty awesome as you can see in the thumbnail there but before we get started into this grind this video today is brought to you by factor use my link directly in the description below or go to go.factor75.com and use code factor se 43522 for 50 off your first box get fresh ready-made meals delivered to your doorstep when you sign up with factor factor chef created meals are fresh never frozen and designed by dietitians to ensure every meal is packed with premium science-backed nutritional quality no more meal prep no more dishes and no more unhealthy fast food factor offers the most convenient way to eat good while eating right and not only this factors menus are updated weekly and include 27 meals and 34 add-on options choose your favorite meals or let them craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less even faster than ordering in meal plans offer variety with a rotating weekly menu of over 27 meal options and 33 add-ons like smoothies keto shakes desserts and more so if you're interested in this make sure you click on the link in the description below and you can save 50 percent off your first box and it will directly benefit the channel huge thank you to factor for sponsoring today's video and here we are this is my very first time hunting the herd herbivore not only do you get hunting xp from this but you also get herblore xp and a ton of herbs now my very first attempt trying to catch this herbivore really didn't go too well and it was uh probably uh the most demotivating thing because i usually thought this was much faster from what i saw and i thought the success rate of catching him was pretty good but it led me all over fossil island and unfortunately for me he did escape my very first attempt to catch him so i was kind of upset i was like wow I hope this doesn't happen too often and it really turns out that it doesn't happen that often at all so not the greatest start to the video but eventually we will find him and not only that we're going to be getting a ton of hunter xp from him while we go and catch him a thousand times in a row so with that all being said what is going on you guys it is mr no sleep here from old school runescape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today as you can see today we are going to hunt the herbivore 1000 times and then we're going to price check all of the herbs that we get from him and then also we're going to be using all of the fossils that i receive in this video at the end for prayer xp for those of you who watch my 3000 ancient zygomite video you may remember me doing that at the end and obtaining quite a bit of prayer xp and in this video we should obtain even more than we did in that one so i'm very excited to not only get hunter herblore but also prayer xp all from just hunting this small little creature the inventory is pretty basic you just need a herb sack as well as a dig site pendant in your po or just on your person and then anywhere from four to eight stamina potions depending on how long you're planning on being here and also if you're keeping the guams or dropping them as soon as my inventory would fill up with extra guams because they would max out in the herb sack that's usually when i decided to bank either this or i just had a lot of fossils that i needed to deposit in the bank or i just ran out of stamina potions other than that i would always be here on the hunt and this was my first ever time doing this so i really did enjoy it i wanted to go for a thousand k see from zero and get everything on videos from start to finish and honestly i had so much fun doing this that i don't know if i'm gonna be going for 99 hunter but i do know that when i decide to it will most likely be from the herbivore so that i can get as much herbal or xp as possible on my way to 99 and that as well i did a rough hour of just nothing but concentration and then after this really efficient hour i would say um well for me anyway i did receive 155k hunter 
XP, 3K Herblore, and 64KC in one hour, as well as 480K profit. And after that hour, I decided to kind of multi-log this one, and I was at Barrows the whole entire time while doing loot from a thousand herbivore. And one thing that made this very easy was that I changed my mode from fix mode, which is essentially the smallest runescape screen you can get, to the resizable modern mode. And this way I could hide my inventory and my chat box and I could see even further on the mini map. There's 93 Hunter, making it almost 100% uh, just able to see where I needed to run next to click on the herbivore because it would be highlighted in blue. Because if you do this, uh, you definitely have to use rune light. Without rune light, I would never even attempt this thing. But essentially having rune light and having the plugin turned on, it just tells you where to click and where to go every single time. So it really doesn't get much better than that. Just a little bit about the herbivore. It was released in September of 2017 and you do need 80 hunter and 31 herb lore in order to hunt him. And you can gain anywhere from 1950 to 2461 hunter XP. And then you just need secators or magic secators to harvest each herbivore and get the herbs off of the back before it flees away once you catch it. But if you do use magic secators like I was doing, this will allow you to harvest an additional herb compared to the regular one. So definitely unlock those if you're going to decide to get your hunter up here. As it goes for that XP range, that just depends on what level you are while you're hunting him. And that's really it. If you're curious of the pet rate here, it's actually 1 in 6,500, which I'm learning that really just now for the first time. I actually thought it was 1 in 3,000. And there's 94 Hunter. But 1 in 6,500, that is insane. But good to know. Hopefully we'll uh, get some luck in this video. You never know though. I mean, I just got that farming pet, so I can't get too greedy. But in general, I love collecting herbs on the Iron Man. This is not as many herbs as I expected to get, I'll be honest, while doing this, but it's still a really good amount and it's more than I had before. So you combine this with doing birdhouse runs every hour and herb runs every 90 minutes or whatever it may be. I only do them about three times a day personally, but you can really stack up as a lot of herbs on your Iron Man, especially if you're running a kingdom all week and all month long. So I never see 99 herb lore impossible for any Iron Man account. It just takes a very long time, but if I was to go for like 6,500 herbivore KC for the pet, I mean, I would love to gather all those herbs and just uh, sit on them while I'm getting the secondaries. That's the thing. All the herbs that you see in this video all need a secondary component to make a potion. So they may seem really good, but you still need to go out of your way to kill things or collect things uh, to, you know, in order to make the actual potion happen. But alongside this, I was getting a lot of Numulite, which I'm not too sure what to do with. But I guess for now, I'll just keep it on the Iron Man account. 95 Hunter, four more until 99. I was really going for Torstal's Renars and Snapdragons here. Those are definitely my favorite herbs to make into potions, and that's what I currently am farming, so that was going to really help the price check as well. They're kind of the most expensive ones. No doubt I was getting more Guams than anything, but they are so worthless that I should have just dropped them, but you never know. I mean, I might need like a couple hundred XP one day, and they might be the only thing I have left in the bank, so you never know when you'll use something, but uh, I figured I'd just keep them and stack them up uh, as we go along here. I really don't mind all the Hunter XP that I got from this, and I was certainly okay with doing red chinchampas and black chinchampas till 99, but now that I've been looking at my low herblore level, I feel like I'll probably be committing to herbivore upwards until 99 hunter. And it is unfortunate that the herbivore is not ranked on the high scores anywhere, because now I'm, my curiosity is driving me crazy. I really want to know who's ranked one in herbivore, who has caught the most. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments below. I'm very curious. I definitely know it's not me though, but here I am about to reach one thousand kc overall this video did take over 25 hours to complete although i was catching 64 on an efficient hour uh since i was doing barrows the other hours of uh, this video i was uh, way way lower than the efficient rate so that's okay though i still got a thousand completed and i got a ton of loot so let's go ahead and price check all of the numulite and all of the herbs and it looks like the overall price check rounded up comes to 7.5 million gp not only this, but I was also fortunate enough to obtain 50k Herblore XP and approximately 2.5 million Hunter XP. So now it's just time to turn in all of our fossils and see how much Prayer XP we're going to be getting from them. We have small, medium, large, and rare. So let's go ahead and do that. Luckily, we have 357 Calcite and Pyrophosphite, and luckily I got all of those from the 3000 Ancient Zygomite. So those are going to be used in all of these fossils in order to use them for prayer. Now, this 
this time I'm banging them all before I use them for prayer, which you just have to use in the strange machine at the Fossil Island Teleport, which I'll show you guys here pretty shortly. But yeah, I know not everyone knows about this, and I just find it a pretty cool way to get some easy prayer XP. Rounding up, I started with about 3.1 million prayer XP before I did this, so let's see how much prayer XP I can reach by the very end of it. We're just cashing in all of our small fossils right now, and then we're going to move on to our medium, large, and rare. I think I had 100% success rate while uh, dissolving all these fossils, so that should be good. We didn't miss out on much, and uh, looks like we're coming to a close here from 1 point, or sorry, from 3.1 mil XP to almost 3.2. We got about 91 to 93k prayer XP on top of all of the hunter levels, all of the 7 million GP worth of herbs, and all the herbler XP as well. So tons of hunter, tons of herbler completed in this video. A huge thank you to the YouTube channel members for the monthly support with a special shout out to Matthew Stivers, Angels Blood, Deception Z, and XXotic XOSRS. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. No Sleep, out.